Welcome back. We are headed to the theater. So the plot can begin. That dude with the blue hair is creeping me out. He does look a bit like Ivan Drago's bigger, tougher brother. It's the shirt that previous contest winner Captain Kamen was wearing the day he battled an army of androids sent to destroy the Earth. I'm not sure why the pants are missing. Oh, they were recovered, all right. They were just... Let's just say that an army of androids... It's a photograph of the 10th anniversary reality reunion show. Burger King must have had to close a few branches the day that was filmed. This door just says gaffer. That sounds like one of your crazy English words. Last time I was in England, we mostly had munters and chavs. Hi, I'm here for the audition. Name? Kyle Keeper. Wait, what? Because she's Consuela, they have flamenco music? Not your real name. Yikes. A bloody good superhero you're gonna make. You've only been in the costume five minutes and you've already given your seat. I was going to call myself the perfect patriot. Well, that doesn't seem very appropriate. Your costume is a mess. You'll have to think of something else. Right now? Can I think of a name after I do the audition? Sorry, but the rules are clear. You have to have your superhero name before you go on stage. In the event that you get through to the boot camp, the production company can have your name trademarked by the time you get back off stage. Oh well. In that case, how about... Uncle Sam. What could be more patriotic than that? I'm sorry, but there is already a well-known comic book character with that name. Yeah, I think there is. Holy intellectual property infringement. The incredible Dr. Farty Pants. What? You're not taking this seriously, are you? Hey, you try sharing an apartment with the big fella, and then tell me it's not an appropriate name. Oh sure, I have nothing better to do than sit here all afternoon waiting for you to come up with a name that isn't either pathetic or borderline illegal. Thanks. That's what we figured. I don't really have any reason to go in there. Damn straight. Each drawer in the- And there's n- I wouldn't ask- Why? I can be really annoying. If I jab you in the eye with my nail file, you go away. Mel? Ooh, ooh, I want the nail file. That was almost like a toilet flush transition there. Why did he follow me in? It's all. Mel. I didn't know Sam had a sister. She hasn't. But she just said she was going to run errands for her sister. Maybe she just wanted to pull a sickie then. How can you be sure she hasn't got a sister? My job is to maintain and secure the NYPD computers. What does... I haven't finished reading it yet. I'm only up to chapter 17. can't believe my costume got ruined. As I recall, you were wearing it while eating pizza last night, and then you had to put it in the washing machine. Uh. I'm not surprised. You had 11 slices. I need help. The receptionist says I need a superhero name. In so? You must have known. Yeah, but... And I plan to marry Mila Kunis. 
There are a few other. Oh, that's true. I could talk to the. If you. But I thought there would be something talk. that we needed to do in here specifically. Wait, what? Oh, there's someone else there? Hey there. Oh, uh, excuse me. Hi. Oh dear. Are you In a manner of speaking, yes. They call me the Bleeding Heart, on account of my political activism. My name's... Just Kyle? Well, I was going to be called the Perfect Patriot. But that was before the die ran in my costume. How did you manage that? You know how everything comes out at 40 degrees with Sudzo Biolog- So the advert. He found several substances which don't. Spermicide, pizza sauce, and ant killer. Under what possible circumstances could you come into contact with all three of those at the same time? So she ain't helping her sister, she's at this I was trying audition. to come up with recipes for new- you haven't lived until you've tasted a barren, malignant transfusion. Have you seen any other superheroes here? Or supervillains? There was a guy here earlier, but he went out to get some fresh air. There's a park a couple of blocks east of- hmm. So why do you want to win America's Got Superpowers? To be honest, I'm having a bit of a crisis of confidence. I'm hoping that taking part in the contest will reinvigorate my passion for superheroism. You said you were having a crisis of confidence. Sometimes I think I only got into the business because of my father. Was he- No, he was a cop. I come from a family full of Irish cops. But you're not a cop? Uh, no. No, I'm not. Fighting crime was the family business, though. So if your heart's not in it, why don't you quit and go back to whatever you did before? I couldn't. It would feel like a betrayal of everything my father stood for. I'm sure you... Not likely. He's got Irish Alzheimer's. He forgets everything except the grudges. What? The lady at the desk says I need a proper superhero name... Remember that superheroes can be very well known. Millions of people will know you by this name. So be sure to pick something which won't age or go out of fashion. Yeah, we all remember what happened to Captain Cabbage Patch. Remember? I was the one who had to scrape him off the pavement. It should also be something descriptive. Something which tells people who you are. But not too descriptive. I mean, don't call yourself captain allergic to cat hair or something that's going to come back and bite you in the ass. So what sums you up, Kyle? I'm proud to be an American. Well, that's... Only, he doesn't look very perfect anymore, does he? Instead of red, white and blue, he's all shades of violet. Well, call yourself the Purple Patriot, then. That's a pretty obvious... You're not exactly inconspicuous in that outfit, mate. You look more like a proper superhero than most of these guys. Do you have real superpowers? In fact, I do. I have super strength, x-ray vision, and flight. All the usual stuff. So why is she a cop? Can you leap tall buildings in a single bound? There's really not much call for that. Most of the time it's easier to just go around. How did you get your superpowers? When I was a young girl, we went back to Ireland for a vacation. While I was there, I kissed the Blarney Stone. Oh my gosh. I don't know quite what happened. Get off. Next you'll be telling us you got special powers when I'm oh, left before and asked you to rub his These jokes are so bad. X-ray vision sounds way cool. Can you see through everything? You're asking if I can see through clothing, aren't you? Uh... I can, but I make a conscious effort not to abuse my powers. I don't think I have as much willpower as you. If Ultimate Vengeance Girl were here right now... I said I can see through clothing, not silicone. Bitch slapped. Mm. Um... Like I said, I make a conscious effort not to. 
Being able to fly must be the ultimate superpower. And really useful when you run out of milk late at night. Well, you'd be surprised how rarely you actually need it when fighting crime. Invisibility or super speed would be much more useful. But you can get to the scene of crimes really quick. And avoid getting stuck in the crosstown traffic when it's lunchtime and everyone's racing to get to the stage deli. It definitely has its uses. Of course, you have to agree to certain rules to get your superhero license when you have the power of flight. Really? Like always landing before answering a call of nature. That should go without... I mean, that goes without Let's saying. Talk about about I've decided to call myself the Purple Patriot. That's a dreadful name. He's a dreadful superhero. Well, I suppose it is descriptive. And you're not exactly overloaded with quality applicants this afternoon. This standard has dropped a little this year. I can't help thinking that last year's winner getting eviscerated live on air at his victory parade by Captain Kit Katana might have put one or two people off. It was so sad. He didn't even have time to release his album of R&B covers. Fine, you can go in. But if anyone asks how you got past me, I'll claim that you chloroformed me, okay? Yeah, yeah. Just like every girl who ever went to bed with me. What? Okay, you can go ahead and audition freely now. I have your information. Before you go, though, do you have any stage experience? Any stage experience? I'll have you know that everyone was very impressed with my bottom at the Suncat Summer Festival on Staten Island. Oh, really? You were in a Midsummer Night's Dream? No, he climbed up on stage and mooned the audience during the first interval. I got a mention in the New York Ledger. Well, you didn't actually get your n No, but the arresting officer did. One critic said he'd never laughed so much during a performance of Death of a Salesman. Oh man, I love these machines. I only have to touch one of these and the indicator zooms up and shatters the little bulb on top. No mate, you're thinking of a blood pressure monitor. Now why is he on stage with him? I don't understand. I don't think we're supposed to play around with the props. You can tell we're short on contestants this year. They're even inviting the commissioners to take part in the auditions. Huh? Who's keeping the undesirables out while you're in here? I thought they were just directed straight to your dressing room. Don't try to be a smart ass, son. Sorry, didn't mean to encroach on your territory. I don't really need to ask which one of you is the Purple Patriot, do I? I am. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. I normally have to rely on Louis Walsh for that. <laughs> so you didn't let your wardrobe malfunction stop you from entering the contest, huh? Oh, cr Not your zipper, dopey. So who's your friend? That's Mel. He's not taking part. He's just here to lend me moral support. Yes, it takes a lot of guts to get up on that stage. Fortunately, you've got a lot of gut to spare. And to make the odd snide comment when the opportunity arises. Well, now you're definitely encroaching on my territory. Let me explain how the contest works. Each contestant is set three challenges to prove they have what it takes to be a great superhero. I'll do Don't go to too much trouble. You'll be one of the joke contestants that we put on for the viewers to laugh at. I'll prove you wrong. I'll put on an audition you can't possibly say no to. I admire your balls, kid. With trousers that tight, we don't really have much choice. <laughs> the first challenge is a challenge of strength. You may use any of- Well, gentlemen, the standard this year is lower than ever. Stand back. I'm going to hit this harder than it's ever been hit before. <sighs> Try not to break anything. Don't worry, it's a pretty sturdy machine. I meant anything of yours. 
I say two stars up. I say two stars. I got to three. I've seen bigger mussels on a seafood platter. <laughs> You're getting get ahead of myself. I'm me. Hmm. Your waistline suggests you're capable of chewing a considerable amount. <laughs> I'm okay, so same result. So we're gonna have to figure out some way to cheat. It looks like I've seen. <laughs> This tile appears. I can't take you anywhere, can I? Open it up. There, under the tile is a. Say what you like about Marilyn Monroe, but she really knew how to make air conditioning seem interesting. It's part of this. You have underfloor heating. I think this is just here to make the place look nice. You're so naive, it's not even funny. In a past life, I reckon you were... Alright, let's go to the park. Let's talk to this... Finally, just man. Uh. Says the guy dressed as a giant purple dildo. Hey, my costume only looks like this because I accidentally washed it on the hot cycle. Whatever you say, honey. What? Are you entering the America's Got Superpowers contest? That's the plan. You're a bit of a jaunt away from the theater, aren't you? I needed some fresh air. Plus, I was afraid some of the other contestants might try to copy my costume. I can't believe anyone would- You really think that people these days have high moral values and would resist the temptation to rip off another contest? That- Why did you enter the con- I haven't entered yet. Really? Too right. Your sexuality and choice of attire shouldn't have any bearing. Institutional homophobia just panders to the T-Billy fucksticks in society. You should take a stand against this kind of discrimination. They won't let me enter because I haven't picked a name yet. Oh. Good luck with them. Do you have any... What sort of... Well, I don't know. He's right, and trust me, I don't find myself saying that often. Well, let me put it this way, honey. Lots of bad stuff happens that needs avenging. And do superheroes have grudge matches? Oh yeah, there's- Well, honey, nobody knows vengeance. <laughs> this writing, good grief. Have you entered the contest in previous years? No. Oh, uh, you won't be- A virgin. Do you know any other superheroes? Even if I did, darling, I'm far too discreet to ever name any name. Sure. All right, you twisted my arm. Do you know that superhero who can bend, twist, and reshape his body into any... Uh-huh. Really? Trust me. Enough si Too much. Do you have any advice you could give me about being a good superhero? Well, if there's one thing my lifestyle has taught me, it's that lifestyle. spandex is a wonderful. Good grief. Oh. But it's not for everyone, sweet. That top. I see. Uh huh. Ain't that. I just can't. This is just not. I'm not a fan of this writing at all. I love the parks of New York. There's nothing quite as exi- it's a bloody park, mate, not a Nepalese Buddhist monastery. I'll have you know that there are parts of Central Park which... Alright, 
there doesn't seem to be anything to do here. Now this guy's back. Excuse Duh. Did he just He didn't say duh, he's Russian. Do you Duh Say? Are you here? What do you Duh. Are you the only contestant here? Aren't there any other superheroes or villains? <laughs> oh sure. This skinny woman in red costume around somewhere. He keep going outside to take phone calls. <coughs> Perhaps she's moaning. One other. Very strange man. He keep looking at... Fresh air, huh? I'll... He say something about... Why not? Rather... What made you decide to enter the contest? If I win contest, they have to give me green cards so that I can fulfill contractual obligations. Why do you want to... I hope to defect. I belong to FSB in Moscow. What position? Do you play in goal? He's not football team. He's no name for KGB. So, why do you want to defect? When I was senior agent in KGB, during Cold War, I was expected to kill anyone who disagreed with Soviet gun. And you didn't? Of course I wanted to kill people. So... He's boring. Nothing left to do. Since Cold War ended, Russian Secret Service have not much work. Surely Russia must still have enemies. Not many. You Americans and British keep invading countries and pissing people off. People forget all the <laughs> shit we used to play. <laughs> this game is a little dated. <laughs> failed my first audition. Can you give me any tips on how to impress the judges? Penelope impressed by muscles. So... I mean... After all that time sitting next to... Of course. During Cold War, Soviet Union had many secret weapons programs. Soviet scientists were best involved. Well, they didn't manage to successfully brainwash anyone, did they? Not like the Yanks did with MK Ultra. Soviet brains harder to wash. So what type of powers do you have? All of my powers related to ice. Why ice? Research was carried out in a remote Russian village called Oymikron. You ever been to Oymikron? Hmm, I'd have to check my passport. There's no need for sunscreen. Average temperature minus 15. Sounds a bit like Buffalo. He's a horrible place. No work, no social life, nothing to do. Landscape is Here comes the alley-oop! Sounds a lot like Buffalo. And he brings it home! Can you spray out a stream of ice in front of you and then surf along it? All these jokes are like comic strip yes, punchlines. I can spray ice, but cannot surf on it. I have a very poor sense of balance. How come? I got hit in the head a lot when I have a stunt double in Rocky IV. See? I knew it. I think I have ice base. What make you... When I hold an ice cube in my hands... Oh my gosh. No, that... I want... Suit your... Why would I want to break the glass? It would cause panic and get everyone trampling all over. Who needs a r Nah. Killjoy. There we go. I saw that out of the corner I'll of my eye when I last was in here, but... I probably... I've never known...
I'm back. I thought. I. Are you? Miss, could I borrow a? I need it. There are no cust. I have. I don't want. My it does bring a whole new. I. Did that even? I don't. Although. Well, I. Fair enough. I suppose you could always rewrite some of the graffiti yourself if you didn't want people to believe all the things they've. What? Who's written things about me? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure none of it is true. Absolutely. You'd have a lot more wear and tear on Madre mia, I can't leave this desk. Take a pencil and go and cross my name out. No. I need... Unless it's part of my official... I'm sorry, but I have been entrusted with certain responsibilities. And... I don't think... Blood. Aren't you? Yeah, but I'm an illegal. We're open to bribery, blackmail, honor killing. What do you do here exactly? I vet contestants. I make sure that no unauthorized visitors get onto the stage. I ensure that the... That's a very verbose way of saying dog's body. I... If Stefan catches me talking during work hours... I can't look at one of these without thinking of Jim Carrey plunging himself in that movie. You'd plunge yourself too if you kissed Sean. And these references are just all over the map. When this pencil was on the receptionist desk, I really wanted it for some. It's like Miranda. You're not wrong, dude. How many times can you write Miranda falls over in one? Never mind, with your inquisitor. Consuela, one of the contestants is... Well, apparently security have gone home for the afternoon, so I guess you may speak with me. This strength test is really kicking my ass. It'll have to be careful, it doesn't get it. Did anyone ever tell you you're all... People usually tell me... Well, you do have your waistband just beneath your armpits. I'm all... Miss Pen I don't see this on my script. Jonathan! You know, mate, it's not often that you get into a conversation where the person you're talking to is intellectually out of their depth. But I think it might have happened again. I think the last time was when you thought that talking photo booth was a man in a mobile. What do you mean just say the first thing that comes into my head? You know what happened. What about that guy at the bodega with the shriveled eye who always... Stumpy? Ha, huh, you wish. Really? They've stopped him from slicing the cheese with- Why can't my purse- Yes, I know she went off to do that little favor for me, but- I should just ask her whatever you want. I'm not even sure there's any- I'm really struggling with the strength test. You could try eating a lot of spinach. The main effect spinach has is producing purines, which the body turns into uric acid. Okay, I'm- I remember you. You'll have to be a lot more specific than that, bud. I've been in a lot of shows. Really? Back in the 80s, I was a hot property. You know, TV Guide listed me as number three in the ones to watch Hot 100. Oh yeah, I remember that. Right behind Corey Hayman and Richard Greco, weren't you? 
You were in that show with a talking car, weren't you? That's just one of the shows I did. I was in a lot of different shows. Do you and the car still keep in touch? Eh, not really. They melted it down to make scaffolding for one of Joan Rivers' facelifts, but that show with the car isn't the only show I ever did. I did a lot of comedy and serious drama. Oh yeah, can't forget that guest appearance in season 6 of Mr. Belvedere. Hey bud, don't forget about the three months I spent in Chicago Hope. I don't remember him. I think he means when he was hospitalized with alcohol poor. Hospitalized? You- That's just- <sighs> Oh. Hey bud. Do you have any well, you know, I was in some pretty big team. Really? Why don't you do what I used to do on my lifeguard show when I had to pull off a feat of superhuman physical strength? Really? I didn't know we were allowed to use body double. Ha! You know your life sucks when you get zinged by a cop. Sure, bud. See, mate, I told you people can't tell. And you I owe you It's a thermostat. I wonder what would happen to the air condition. I probably oh. But it's something to keep in mind. I need him. How am I ever going to ring the bell on that test your sh Any chance you could exercise, develop your muscles, and cultivate a physique worthy of an Adonis? Not in the Then I'd s if Talk speaker is hooked up. Actually, it's because Stefan can't bear to think that there's a room in the building where his voice can't be heard. I can't. It's true, people tend to frown upon. Lead. I'm. Oh, man. Fortunately, that particular disease has been almost entirely eradicated. these machines. I only have to touch one. No, my. You. You have. You've already.
Maybe he'll have an idea for cheating. I don't know. Well, that told. Nope. It's a. There just there's not much of stuff I can do. I finished audition. Oh. Do you know any other super villain? Just because I am Russian means I must be villain. Actually, I suspect it was the love of killing people when you were in the KGB. He's fair. I used to date Magma Me. He never. That must. Da, but. After a while. Her magma core started to melt the ice core of my body whenever she was in close proximity. I had to start wearing this waterproof costume to stop myself melting from inside out. Hmm. Ah, after a while I was like walking snow cone. Least of I think I'm after all. It's the receptionist's desk. There's a rack of trays with papers. Oh. I heard. Yet. Yeah. I don't really have it. That. Each drawer. And. I. Forget. I like a. Re Although most of my experience. Mel. Alright, I think I have to get to the next episode now, so uh, grab a snack and we'll be back with another episode tomorrow.